Good evening ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my first ever theory video. Uh, it's not so much as kind of gaming theory, it's just kind of theory about games. Today I'm going to be talking about something that's quite close to my heart in the sense that I've grown up with it and then I've seen it evolve over the past few years. Uh, and that's pixel art in games and pixelated games. Because from about 2010, we've seen a real revival on the indie market of fantastic games that are 8-bit and 16-bit or have pixel art featured in them. And why is that? Well, personally, I think it's to do with the fact that the people who grew up in the 80s and 90s have now matured and started making their own games and they've taken that from their childhood and brought that into their own style and that's where they've kind of come from. But it also comes with the fact that um, game development packages like Game Maker Studio allow people to make games such as Risk of Rain that I've already spoken about, um, you know, easily. But the stuff like The Lone Survivor, Hotline Miami, um, Sword and Sorcery, Super Brothers, that all feature heavy pixelated art or a pixelated style in their games that are absolutely fantastic. They're easily 10 out of 10s when it comes to rating them and yet people still go for the polygonal kind of 3D games and for me it's always been that attraction where it's something that's so minimalistic that makes it appealing in the first place because they're doing so much with essentially so little. Take something like The Lone Survivor it's a psychological horror game where it's terrified me more with 16 bits than any film thus far. Maybe not Dead Space, but that was the, that was a special case to date. And I can't understate just how horrifying that game is when you're running down a corridor and you've got headphones on. And there's only the light of the screen to guide you. It is absolutely terrifying. And I think that people really overlook the pixelated kind of quarter of the market on the on PC sales at least, simply because the majority of people haven't been exposed to it or they think it's going to be terrible. And even with the revival, I do think that that needs to change. But I think the, the appeal of pixel art in games lies with the fact that it can be something so incredibly beautiful from something that's so incredibly, well, small. Because if you look at the pixel art from well, all over Twitter, there's so many pixel artists, it's incredible. It's like, pixels her, slap my bits up, stuff like that. They retweet or post things that are, by their very nature, absolutely amazing to look at because it, it makes you value how something, so essentially something so small can become something so fantastically beautiful once you all piece it together. But um, I'm going to talk about more about this later because it's something that's really close to my heart. So keep watching. 